think several right now. Number one is our paradigm for managing this disease continues to be evaluation of a certain combination regimen in all comers. We try to parcel that out to high-grade serous carcinomas, but despite that, it's very difficult for us to truly identify biomarkers that are predictive of response. BRCA, homologous recombination deficiency, has certainly emerged as a biomarker. But aside from that, we're unable to truly identify which patients may respond to alternate strategies. We're incorporating immuno-oncology checkpoint inhibitors, most notably. We're trying to combine those with other therapeutic paradigms like PARP inhibitors, like antiangiogenic therapy, but we've been unable to truly identify what subset of patients are going to benefit the most from the combination. And until we do that effectively, I worry that we may run into issues identifying more appropriate treatment options for these patients.